I've seen a lot of people create their own businesses who are really transforming from that employee mindset to an entrepreneurial mindset. And I'm so proud of you, every single one of you. I don't know if I, I'm allowed to shout them out right now. I don't wanna do that without their permission, but just know I'm very proud of you, each and every single one of you, because I see you every single day giving your all and going in. The money will come. The fame, the material things, whatever it is that you're chasing at the end of the day, it will come with the craft that you want to perfect and go after. So do it. I'm telling you. What is going on? Welcome back to another episode of J Talk. I'm your host as always, Jalen Omega. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. If you have not yet, be sure to click that like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on, drop a comment, drop a like. It doesn't go unnoticed and it does not go underappreciated. I appreciate all of you. And on that note, I really want to say thank you to everyone who's seen me out and about, who's seen me around and have been asking about me. Where have you been on social media? What have you been doing? And honestly, I realized that I did go on a three week hiatus for a little bit, or I tried to at least. Social media kind of runs the world now. Your phones run the world now, so it's hard for me to do regular business throughout the day and things like that without it. But to an extent, I tried to limit my stuff on social media, drop that screen time a little bit. And there's just been a lot of changes in my life that I really needed to reevaluate. I realized this a time before when I take my hiatuses. I've done this before, this isn't the first time. I feel like more people just notice because of the platform I'm building. And I, I do appreciate that, seriously. It's the reason I do what I do. There's people out there watching. If I could just change one life, I know I'm doing my job right, and that's all I really care about, honestly. Forget the accolades, forget the monetization, all of those material things, man. If you know me, you know I'm not about that. I went from having two jobs to unemployed to having two different jobs now. And along with that, along with a relationship that I was in and a lot of different things, it was just really hard to find that work, play, life balance. like between work, gym, work, creating content for you all. It was just a lot to balance. And quite honestly, I didn't really know how to maneuver for just a little bit. And once again, this quarantine doesn't make it any easier. It was just hard to find that, that balance. Um, there was just a lot of goals that I wanted in my life that I knew that there were a lot of people around me who didn't see eye to eye with, who didn't want the same things. And I had to just, once again, revise my life and just sit down and really plan my, my goals and my future from reality and just realize that what you do now is gonna affect you in some way or the other down the line. It may not be tomorrow, it may not be this instant, but everything you do now does have a long-term effect. That's just the law of attraction right there. It is so real. The words of one of my great fitness friends, if you haven't heard of him, go check him out. His name is Dizzy Fitness on Instagram. He says to just be consistent. And that's just not in the gym. That's not in your grind life or work life. That's in all aspects of your life or what you want your future to look like. If you're consistent now, that consistency is going to build up and shape your future. If you don't believe me, try a 30-day run of some type, whether it be reading, meditating, praying, working out, no matter what it is, cooking, a hobby, no matter what it is, try it out. I'm telling you, when you're consistent, the results will show that. It's hard work and dedication that really puts you over and sets you into the one percenters away from that 99%. With that being said about just being consistent, I promise you guys that from here on out, I will be making a JTalk and posting it every single week until eternity. <laughs> I don't even know what's gonna stop me from making these JTalks. But I will continue to do this, not just for my audience and the people that I care about and want to hear what I have to say, but for myself as well. I owe it to myself just as much as I owe it to you guys to perfect this craft, perfect my content, and continue to put it out to you all and just dominate the content creating game. You may or may not know that motivational speaking and just speaking and sewing into others and speaking into others' lives and guiding and advising others around me and others I don't even know, they reach out to me on social media all the time, that... That is what I love to do. That is my craft. That is my life God-given skill. And it is so important to do that with yourself, especially right now. There's not as many things going on as you would have and what I would call distraction. You don't have to be in a certain creative field to support someone in a certain creative field, you know? So if 
I'm not a rapper, but I have a friend who's a rapper who's creating a, a management business and a portfolio, someone who's, cre who's creating a marketing business or portfolio. Just because I'm not too knowledgeable about those things, I know that I can still support them by giving them a share, giving them a like, a donation, just anything that they may need to take them to the next level, I know that there's some way that I could contribute, just like they know that there's a way that they can contribute to what I'm doing. And I just wanted to put that out there because people believe like, oh, that's not my field, so I'm not even gonna be entertained with it. No, I'm telling you, when you start building that entrepreneurial mindset, a lot of things in your mind begin to change. You begin to learn a, new, a lot of different things. You begin to learn how to be a people person, not always a people pleaser, we talked about that before, as well as understanding how people work. People are transactional. Support your local business, support your local rapper, support your local content creator, because it does not go unnoticed and it is very well appreciated. Once you build a skill and find something that you love and you grow on that and you enhance that skill, nobody can take that away from you. That's something we did not learn in school, but in the real world, it teaches you some things and that's one of them that has really stricken me. Like I've always spoken about meditation. I read a lot of self-development books and I meditate just as much. I, I, I've been working on trying to find a way to get into a deeper sense of meditation in a lot of different ways and it kind of scares me, but I love being at peace to learn and, and exercise how meditation affects my life. And I'm telling you, that's just something that helps me build my content and build my brand and build me up as a person so I could build you up. And there's nothing like it. Meditation, hot yoga I wanna get into as well. But like I said before, man, there's just a lot of things that have been transitioning in my life. And I have been having a hard time adjusting to it, which I'm sure you all can understand where I'm coming from. Whether you're moving to a new place, you're starting a new job, you're doing something that may feel uneasy. Typically when something feels uneasy or something you're scared of doing, you just have to dive right in and do it. Cause that's the change you've probably been asking for and seeking and you didn't even realize. Just as I'm telling you this, I'm working on these things for myself as well. The power of prayer is so pivotal. The power of speaking declarations and things that you want and manifesting things over your life is so powerful. I have a friend who started doing content this year and has blown up. Like she has taken off in so many different aspects of her life. And a lot of that came from prayer and a lot of it came from manifestation and speaking the things that she wanted over her life. And I do those same things as well. While you may not be taken off as fast as you want to be taken off, you may not be right where you expected yourself to be after a year of hard work. Keep going because that breakthrough is coming for you just like I know it's coming for me and, the, and my loved ones around me. And the last thing I want to touch on, I know I spoke about my environment. I have to change those things. Your environment really does shape you, whether you believe it or not. And like I saw an analogy and it said, when you hang out with businessmen, Nine times out of 10, you're probably gonna be the fifth businessman. If you hang out with doctors, nine times out of 10, you might be doing something very high up in that medical field. If you hang out with, I don't wanna call them losers, but if you just hang out with people who are more detrimental than, than positive and, and, and progressive, then nine times out of 10, you're going to be just like them doing what they're doing. And I'm not saying that to put you down, not saying that that's you, but I was just, I just found that analogy very interesting and in how true it really is. So surrounding myself with the right people, with the right things, that's something that I struggle with and I still work on to this day. And that's a part of my hiatus as well, just trying to find myself as an individual. And to end this off, I just wanna remind you that, yes, this is not the world we expected to be living in in this year, in this new decade, which is 2020. But this is the time to be born again. The entire nation, the entire globe is being born again. Good and bad, there's a lot of things going on in the world, but I cannot think of a better time to leave your mark on this earth and do something that's not going to just impact you in a great way, but the people around you and even and maybe even the nation. You don't know who's watching. You don't know what skill you've been holding on to that you've been needing to perfect in order to go to that next level to help those people around you get to that next level just as you want to get to that next level until you do it. There is no greater time than right now to really dive in and do what it is that you love. I'm still so happy with doing this. I'm still so happy with creating. I'm still so happy with editing and doing all this stuff on my own because I know at the end of the day, 
I'm perfecting my craft in more aspects than one. And you can do the same too. I love you all. I'm so thankful for every single one of you. Thank you all for sticking with me and, and helping me through these dark times of my life that I've been trying to maneuver through. If I could do it, you could do it too. I promise you that. Stay blessed and I'll see you next week. Peace.